ओके रेक्टेंगुलर बीम हंड्रेड एम एम वाइड एंड टू फिफ्टी एम एम डीप एंड थ्री मीटर लॉन्ग कैरिंग इनफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ फोर्टी किलोमीटर पर मीटर डिटरमाइन द मैक्म शेयर स्ट्रेस एंड केस द वेरिएशन ऑफ शेयर स्ट्रेस अलॉन्ग द डेप्थ ऑफ बीम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ड्रॉ दी क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ बीम तो बीम इट इज टू फिफ्टी एम एम सॉरी हंड्रेड एम एम वाइड हंड्रेड एम एम वाइड and 250 mm depth 250 mm depth so depth it is 250 mm okay depth it is 250 mm so then it is neutral axis of this beam neutral axis of this beam okay so first of all write down the given data so b is equal to given 100 mm and d it is given d is equal to D is equal to two fifty mm, two fifty mm, and then uniformly distributed load it is given. Yes, this is simply supported beam. Simply supported beam. Simply supported beam. It uniformly distributed load on this beam. Okay, uniformly distributed load on this beam. So loading, it is uniformly distributed load. Okay, that is uniformly distributed load acted on that beam. Okay. And span it is three meter. Span it is three meter. So span of this beam it is three meter. Okay. Span of beam it is three meter. Three meter. And loading it is uniformly distributed load. That is. Forty kilonewton meter, forty kilonewton per meter. So shear force it is shear force when B meet is is equal to you can say it is S is equal to W L by two when the B meet is simply supported and U D L load it is acted. Okay, it is W W into L by two W into L by two. Shear force W into L by two. Okay. So W it will be forty kilonewton meter. W it will be forty kilonewton per meter into span it is three meter divided by two. Span it three meter divided by two. Divided by two. So shear force S is equal to here. It will be get S is equal to forty into three W L by two. So it will be sixty kilonewton. Sixty. Kilo newton. That is sixty into ten raised to the power three newton. Okay. Convert it is in kilo newton. So cross sectional area it is area is equal to B into D. B into D. That is hundred into hundred into two fifty. Hundred into two fifty. That is means hundred into two fifty. We will get twenty five thousand mm square. Twenty-five thousand mm square, mm square. Okay. So this one it is area. So Q average, average shear stress calculate. Q average, average shear stress is equal to S by shear force divided by cross sectional area. That is shear force divided by cross sectional area. We can say it is F by E also. Okay. Shear force divided by cross sectional area. So shear force it is. Sixty into ten raised to the power three, ten raised to the power three, divided by, divided by, divided by. Area it is twenty-five thousand. Area it is twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Okay. Till you get the average, average shear stress. So sixty into ten raised to the power three, divided by twenty-five thousand. So it will be two point four newton per mm square. Two point four MPa. That is newton per mm. Okay. So maximum shear stress for rectangular section. So Q max is equal to Q max is equal to Q max is equal to. It will be three by two Q average. It is three by two. Three by two divided by Q average. 
डायग्राम for rectangular section so na it is neutral axis so this is a, it is neutral axis neutral axis it will be where it will be d by 2 means 250 by 2 okay so maximum shear stress for that so this one it is shear stress diagram shear stress diagram so maximum shear stress it will be Three point six newton per m square. So Q max is equal to three point two m p m. Okay. So this one it is maximum shear stress for rectangular shape. Okay. 